and we welcome you inside Nut Arena here tonight. My name is Adam Pohl. Thank you for being with us here this evening. Well, folks, after nearly overcoming a 19-point second-half deficit against St. Francis of Pennsylvania in a 59-51 loss on Saturday, the Mountaineers look to start a late-season run that could put them in the NEC tournament tonight as they take on Robert Morris in what is their lone meeting of the 2011-2012 season. So it is the Mount St. Mary's Mountaineers and Robert Morris. It's coming up next right here on MountAthletics.tv. Mount St. Mary's went on a 16-0 run in the second half to take the lead for good and held off a furious Robert Morris charge to earn an 80-76 win against the Colonials on Monday night. The Mount used two traditional three-point plays and two baskets from behind the arc along with four free throws in the decisive run to erase a one-point deficit and grab a 69-54 advantage with three minutes and 33 seconds left. Robert Morris then made the game interesting by going on a 21-9 run to make it a one-possession game with 17 seconds left, but junior Selena Mann sealed the win with two free throws with eight seconds remaining. Sophomore Jesse Kaufman paced them out with 16 points and five rebounds. Mann continues to rack up the stats after finishing the game with nine points, nine assists, and seven rebounds. Sophomore Ashley Christie added 10 points, while junior Tara Lonergan and sophomores Kayla Grosset and Kelly Guerrero each chipped in nine points in the winning effort. The Mount scored 50 points and a half for the second time in three games and posted a season-high 80 points on the night. Hi, Aaron Schwartz here with Mount Athletics TV here with sophomore Jesse Kaufman, who was the lead scorer in tonight's game. Jesse, what are your initial thoughts on the game? Um, I think it was a really good game for us tonight. Um, last game, we didn't really play a full 40. We knew that tonight we needed to play for a full 40 minutes, which we did. The last two minutes was really long. They were fouling us intentionally, and I think we stuck it out. We were able to make free throws. We played well in the first half, and we, able, we were able to finish it in the second. And you played a monumental part in that huge run that Mount St. Mary's had in the second half. What kinds of things do you think were working for you offensively? Um, they um, fell back into a zone, and the middle of the zone was really open, so I knew I had to make myself available. I had to be able to catch, turn, look for my shot, catch, turn, look to pass out, and I just really had to knock down the open shots they were giving me. And do you have anything to say to our viewers back home? Um, come out and watch us next Wednesday, the 15th, against Wagner. Great. Thanks, Jesse, and good luck this weekend. Thank you. And now I've got head coach Brian Witten. Coach, you guys had some great things going on, both offensively and defensively. What are your initial thoughts on the game? I mean, any win's a great win. Obviously, we'll take it. We did some very, very good things, especially in the middle of that second half where we got up by 15. Um, we didn't do some great things having that 15-point lead in terms of we missed some foul shots and we turned the ball over a few more times than we would have liked. But, you know, we'll go back, we'll look to film, we'll try to fix that. But a win's a win, and we'll take it any day of the week. And you had some pretty impressive statistics, including uh, scoring over 40 points off the bench. Um, Jesse had a great game. You know, she, she's been up and down a little bit, but she's always had it in her. And uh, she came in and did some great things. Um, Ashley gave us some real nice minutes. Kelly Guerrero is a shooter, and um, she did a great job doing what she does, and that's shoot the ball. And when they went to the zone, um, we felt confident putting her in because she usually makes a lot of shots against that. Great. Thanks, Coach, and good luck this weekend against Wagner. 